Hi there. My name is Allison Whitfield and welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. That'll help me with my YouTube to build my YouTube channel. And if you like this video, please smash that like button. That also helps me. Okay. So today I went to the Flamingo. And we, the reason why I went there is because they have uh, a arboretum, I guess that's what you call it, right in the middle of the hotel. And it is a place where there's trees and there's water and all that. And they actually have flamingos there. It's definitely nature. It's totally different from the Bellagio. When I went to the Bellagio, as you know, you've seen that video, I, um, the problem with that I had with the Bellagio was because I was thinking I was going to a botanical gardens. I was thinking it was going to be in nature and it kind of disappointed me. So I figured the flamingo is probably going to be something like that, but I, I, I thought I'd go anyway just to show you what it's like. It was totally different, totally different. They actually have a real arboretum. They actually have a real nature place that's in the middle of the hotel <laughs> where the sun comes in and they have real flamingos and real fish and real pelicans and all this stuff. It is all right in the middle of the hotel and it was beautiful and gorgeous. There wasn't that many people there. Well, there was, but because of the way that it's situated, you really don't see a lot of people because you're walking in and out and amongst the trees and going in and out and seeing the different waterways where you get, they got rainbow fish in there and huge like fish in the water and they got waterfalls and then they had the flamingos and there was somebody out there who was actually feeding the pelicans and, and all that it was just great and so you'll see the video here and um, it was just great I, I felt good I felt the nature of it I felt like it was totally natural and it's a great place to go if you're coming to Vegas and it's free, it's absolutely free. You just walk in the Flamingo, you go to their Arboretum and you go around in throughout the trees and the water and the waterfalls and you look at the flamingos and stuff. And you look at the fish and you look at, you know, the waterfalls, it, it, it's just, it, it, it was really cool. I felt really good about it. It's totally opposite from what I experienced at the Bellagio. So I recommend if you're in Vegas, you got to see the flamingo. You got to see the arboretum and the flamingo. As I walked through there, you know, um, you didn't really feel the crowds. You really didn't feel like it was fake, like I felt at the Bellagio. I did feel that it was fake at the Bellagio. It's totally real, and the best part of it is that it's free. Once you go outside the Flamingo, there's an alleyway that's filled with restaurants and bars and clubs and things. And I'm sure that once they start, once again, with live music, there's going to be live entertainment, you know, and all that. You know, I can see that there was probably, there was places where musicians would probably be playing once they start that again. But they still haven't started that. And also, they don't have the phase yet. So, the only part about it that I didn't like is that I walked up and down the alleyway with all the restaurants and things like that and bars and stuff. And, you know, they had Gordon Ramsay and all these places where you can go, right? Even, uh, what is his name, Guy Figueti, you know, the guy from uh, Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives, you know, Guy Figueti. He had his restaurant there, Gordon Ramsay had his restaurant there. So, and when you look at their menus, they have the menus displayed outside, you know, but you don't see any prices, <laughs> so you know it's expensive. It's very expensive. So there's no place to eat, you know, unless you want to pay a lot of money, and I didn't. So I ended up leaving there and going to, I think I went to a McDonald's. 
to, you know, off the off the beaten track so that I wouldn't have to pay so much money for food. And it's been so long since I've eaten at McDonald's because I'm not really a fast food person. But I couldn't, I didn't want to eat in one of those restaurants. Especially, you know, when they have a menu up and they don't have no prices, yeah, that's a sign that, yeah, it costs too much for me. So I didn't get anything to eat there. But the walkthrough was great. It was great. It's a great experience. So here is the uh, flamingo, and, and these are the, the videos as you see them now that I saw while I was there, and it was a great time. You know, it wasn't it was hot? It was like 90 degrees out there. I recommend that you carry water with you. Definitely carry water because my legs actually started buckling. They started because um, I wasn't carrying water, and so my legs started, you know, getting Charlie horses in them because I didn't have enough water. So I had to sit down for a while and drink some water. But other than that, it was a great time. So I recommend if you go to Las Vegas, if you come to Las Vegas, and you want to see nature right on the strip, you know go to the Flamingo and go into their Arboretum and it is great. So, anyway, that's my take on the Flamingo and uh, thanks for watching and you have a great rest of your day. Take care.